Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I'll be checking out two new songs from After the Burial that were released under the title Embrace the Infinity. That is the title of neither track so I'm not sure if it's a two song EP released under that name or if there is more coming including a title track. Uh, that this is off of or what, but for right now we're just looking at two singles. I am about to see this band live next month with Spirit Box, so I'm excited to see what they've been working on. I've heard all of their discography. Uh, the two songs I'll be checking out today under this release are called Nothing Gold, which has a music video along with us, and the other song is called Death Keeps Us From Living, so I will link all of After the Burials you know, social media, promotional links, as well as the music video I'll be using in the reaction portion of this in the description. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Bring them ribs back in.
after the burial, nothing gold. We still have another track to check out before we discuss. Death keeps us from living. I love that. Waited. for me after the burial nothing gold and death keeps us from living also known as embrace the infinity let's discuss will putney on the production side of things so unsurprisingly these sound great from that perspective i think 
these two tracks are are solid for me nothing surprising or groundbreaking and stuff but they have what i really want from this band i felt like with nothing gold you get a little bit of like uh, while the riffs still have like the energy that I'm, I'm looking for when it comes to after the burial and it felt like um maybe though between the two death keeps us from living had a little bit more of like um, what I lean into with this band more when I'm listening like in their discography and stuff Which I feel like after listening to these it does make me want to go listen to evergreen So I'm not sure I need to re-listen to both tracks I think because you know kind of trying to take in everything at once and, and make comparisons and stuff But on first listen that's definitely um, something that sits with me So I do feel like we're kind of tapping in uh, to that sound a little bit But at the same time like with nothing gold I felt a certain level of, of melody in the riffs they felt a little bit melodic in places but at the same time you have stuff that feels uh, like it matches up well with the drops um the it felt you know like i already mentioned with will putney being on it i think production aspect was a really important thing here because um, with this sound, this is what I would expect from After the Burial, I think. It's it's nothing that's surprising. It's a formula that works for them. It does feel like a, a you know an approach to the breakdown, especially the difference between the two tracks. Like with Nothing Gold, it felt a bit more um, like a motive, while the main riff on Death Keeps Us From Living was like the drawing factor to me. That one was kind of wacky, weird. Like th I guess that's more so what I meant when I was talking about what I'm looking for from the band and like what I lean into. Uh, it would it would definitely be related to the guitar work when I'm talking about Death Keeps Us From Living. Um, Nothing Gold, I think with that, that chorus will grow on me more. It's usually like, I'm not sure if there are people who uh, watch a lot of my videos, there are probably people watching this who have never seen my videos and are looking at After the Burial reactions, but for the type of chorus that I really like, it's usually something that's like emotive, it, it, it goes for like the soaring hook type of deal, but for something that, that doesn't do that, that takes a different approach, um, this I can tell is something that it's not gonna be a miss for me I think that it's very like with after the burial when it comes to stuff like even lost in the static which I feel like is a, a song that people who don't even know their discography know it's just a song that's made it its way through that chorus is not my favorite style everything that I love about that song comes into play elsewhere um, but if it were to be an approach to the chorus like that song and that is no no disrespect on the name because the song itself is one that that i got me into after the burial it's uh, one that i still revisit sometimes one that comes up in conversation a lot it's, it's nothing but i feel like for me it would be an even you know more of a classic track if it had a different approach uh, to the chorus but regardless the point that i'm making here is um, that's not something i expect from them is like to have you know my chorus of the year or anything but for their their formulas their style and stuff i think that nothing gold has a good first impression on me and going forward it will be one that grows more and more on me when it comes to more of like a uh, you know gang vocal approach to it or something like that I'm usually like okay you know I could live with or without this I'm more like looking to get to the other parts but uh, with the you know the riffs in the chorus with the the vocal delivery um, the lyrics all of that I feel like have the you know the recipe at least to continue growing on me and being something that you know doesn't have that same effect on me but anyway <laughs> Between the two tracks, I definitely feel like different moods between the two of them. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, you know, Nothing Gold, it certainly has some of those qualities that I'm expecting from this band when it comes to their guitar work, but uh, yeah, Death death Keeps Us From Living, taking the crown on guitar work for me, because that riff right away, as soon as it kicked in uh, from a guitar perspective, that was like something that I was like, oh, oh, okay, what what is that there, you know what I mean? So the songs have, while they have differences for sure, they also have similarities. Like if you pay attention, in both tracks it's right around the same exact spot. It's like two minute mark-ish. Um, they have breakdowns at that point and those breakdowns go hand in hand. Like if you just cut to each of them in the songs and listen, um, they, they're in the same vein for sure. They make it um, to where the songs connect really well. I think that's the best point of similarity. But then when you're listening to Nothing Gold, I feel like overall it has like a, a, a deeper atmosphere to it. It's more atmospheric. Uh, Death Keeps Us From Living has a bit more of that like, um, the, the chaotic factor, I think. It's not to say that song has like no atmosphere in it whatsoever, but it, it again, it feels like it's leaning into something a bit different uh, than Nothing Gold is, which Nothing Gold, the atmosphere was just like kind of 
um, seeping through what you were hearing in the tracks. At least that's how it was for me on my first listen of these two songs, um, which I think is is a good mix between the two because uh, for what attracted me to death keeps us from living, uh, being like in the guitar. And I don't want to make it sound like, oh, I only liked the guitar work on this track because that's, that's not the case really. I think you're taking in a lot when you're listening like back to back to two tracks that kind of differ in terms of this band at least. It's not like it sounds like two songs from two different bands or anything, but when we're talking after the burial, two that felt like one that leaned more into something than something else anyway. Blah blah blah. Point being, I, it makes it harder to rank them against each other because it's for different reasons, whereas if when it's two songs that are really similar, the things that are highlights for you in both tracks are uh, similar, it's very easy, at least for me, to kind of put that up against each other, whereas with this it's like a little bit, it's you're you're focusing on different stuff and then that translates differently to in comparison at least for me but anyway uh let me make sure am i missing anything anyway yeah liking the songs for different reasons though i do feel like they fit well together uh, they're not like two totally different tracks that don't have any uh, the, the things that tie them in together are subtle enough to where the, the tracks have their own identity i think but at the same time they tie together uh, very well and from yeah i guess i'm gonna pick death keeps us from living as my favorite between the two right now but i do feel like this is something that could change depending on my mood and it's gonna be because from the moment that intro riff kicked in uh, i was just kind of captivated by and and the the guitar work on the track is such a big quality for it that i feel like um and i i again i just want to drive the point that that was i i felt like there were others that was just like a part that overshadowed for me to the point where I almost went and re-listened to the track again before making the outro because that was like what stuck with me the most kind of hearing some of those riffs over in my head but uh, regardless the approach to breakdowns uh, the chorus on nothing gold being for after the burial uh, uh, solid for me those things make this a promising release I don't think it'll be like you know top of what I'm listening to right now but after the burial is good at what they do uh, with these tracks I'm happy with it I feel like you know, you have a, not like I could guess what these songs sounded like without hearing them, but you have a certain level of things that you expect from a band going into a release like this. A band that's been around, like, after the burial and has a discography like they do, and I do feel like they delivered on, on what was expected and the expectations that, that were set for them kind of by the scene. So anyway, let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know which of the two tracks are your favorites, and I will link all of the band's social media, the video for Nothing Gold, all of that in the description of this video. You'll also be able to find my link tree, which will have the Patreon. At the time I'm filming this, upcoming this weekend, I may post this after, actually. We do monthly <laughs> monthly live streams for Patreon where we do requests. Sometimes we'll do, uh, you know, music videos related to music that aren't necessarily like reactions or to music directly like you know when you see a video on a channel where it's either an interview or a band member discussing their favorite breakdowns or whatever Th those types of things we'll watch sometimes i have some games that i'm working on coming up with for our live stream stuff like that we're gonna keep uh, working on it and then i also offer a bunch of other stuff in the tiers playlists slash mixtapes for tier three uh, we have uh, just kind of a lot going on, some extra content I'm working on, so if you're interested in coming, check that out. Check, check that out. That will be there, as well as the invite link for the Discord server, which is where the community is based for my YouTube channel. We have a lot of really wonderful people in there, just a bunch of music lovers having a community. So if you're interested in coming to join, check that out. That will also be there. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.